Holy shit! I got a Reddit encirclement! Yeah. As you can see, um, this is basically the same thing as in regular Hearts of Iron 4. Ooh. It appears like we're getting kind of cucked. Yeah, in the south we're getting, like, supremely cucked right now. That's kind of unfortunate. They could encircle us. Oh no. Anyway, um Could I Could I amphibious assault? Yeah, I can actually amphibious assault, although this would probably be a bad idea. I wonder if they have troops in Barcelona. Would be kind of funny if they didn't. Ah, damn it. He's actually got a unit. Then this means it's probably going to fail. It is highly likely that this is not going to succeed. Maybe we can... Ah, he's, he's even out of range of bomber. He's even out of range of bombers. So this is definitely not going to work out. Oops. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, I'm doing my strategy of sort of boxing. Boxing the enemy in from two sides. And, uh, I mean, it's working out fairly well. Except in the south, of course, we're having we're having issues. But that was to be expected, to be honest. Alright, and now I think I get to win with this move. I'm gonna attack Tarragona over here from Saragossa. And in Tarragona, they only had one division. And so now I have a tank unit that's barreling down and in two weeks towards Tarragona, which is a nice port, but also I'm attacking Valencia at the same time where most of their army is retreating out of. And in fact, a lot of their other troops are in Ciudad Real up here. We can pin them down and essentially surround them. Although, to be fair, they're going to be relieved by uh, their friends that are about to take over Cordoba. But now we're able to sort of isolate the northeast after the northwest has mostly been dealt with. Mostly been dealt with, as I said. Oh, wait, what? Yes, yeah, so sometimes... Um, Sometimes it's kind of weird to see which provinces can attack from which, but you, there's actually a nice handy uh, sort of uh, screen up here that tells you the provinces they're actually bordering. They're actually bordering, you know, your, your, yeah, your province. Kind of weird, I know, but oh well. There's actually three divisions up there. I only thought that there would be less. So no. And yeah, now I'm gonna be starting to redeploy troops more towards the south. Okay, this isn't working particularly well. Get back some organization, please. Are we actually gonna win here in Valencia? Yeah, we, we will. Okay, good. Yeah, there's like a lot of them. There's a lot of them that are retreating out of Castellón de Plana. And here comes another mechanic, which is um, attack initiation uh, or attack fatigue, which is basically units that are strategically redeployed or that have just like participated in an attack. They can't actually... 
they can't actually fight or attack again. They can defend. They cannot attack again until a few days have passed. And essentially, um, at the beginning of the game and with shitty units, this generally takes a long time. Um, well, with, like, tank divisions, etc. Et uh, it's, it's very fast, basically. Okay, so right now we're having a bit of an issue. We did manage to get to Valencia with our tanks. The bit of an issue that we are having is the fact that there's just a ton of enemy units running away and they might be able to run away before our guys can get in Tarragona. So we're going to be trying to play as many delaying actions as possible. In fact, I'm going to try a logistical strike to slow them down a little bit, although... I highly doubt that this is going to be too effective. In fact, I need to... Just to be any effective. Yeah, I need to get rid of this air group, which is, sit, like, destroyed completely. Come on. Slow down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, unfortunately, some of them are already running away. So, yeah, change of plans in terms of air forces. I'm going to ground attack. Time to start beating them down super hard. And again, I'm going to try... There's still seven divisions left down there, so if we can get to Tarragona before those seven divisions can run away... That's a great... that would be a great achievement. Can you actually hold for a little while? Sort of. And yeah, these attacks are also going to be difficult on the, you know... On the plane, so... Hold that. Hold that off, hold that off. Of course, right now, one great part about fighting a Spanish Civil War business is that the divisions that we're fighting with are not going to be ours, so we don't really need to worry about losses too much. We can't afford to be very wasteful. There we go, pinning a little bit. There we go. Nice pocket. They won't be too happy about that one. That's for sure. In fact, can we, like, just straight up go for Barcelona? Eh, it's not looking so good. Nah, nah. Best to wait until my other troops have arrived here. Yeah, that's fine. You can retreat out of there. In the meantime, up here, we're finishing off the northwest. Very, very nice. Once this division core is... Oh. Bit of a ship combat. Ship combat in Darkest Hour is satisfying enough, although the main problem with it, I find, is the fact that uh, the game moves very fast, therefore the ship combat also is, like, very, very fast. And, and, and the timings of, like, naval warfare is relatively realistic. Like, battles last hours sometimes. They don't, like, really last 
you know, days, like in, in Hearts of Iron 4. So, actually, um, yeah, naval combat ends up being very, very fast compared to the rest of the game. Okay. It's time to take out Castellon. I'm gonna do a mega attack by a lot of troops. And yeah, that's that's seven divisions, and when divisions are surrounded, they take uh, extra punishment. They have a modifier. As you can see, there's no uh, lack of supply, minus 20, and no retreat possible. So yeah. This is making them quite a bit more difficult, uh, not, not more difficult, quite a bit more easy to destroy. And there we go. They are gone. Now these guys are going to rest and attack towards Barcelona while one core can move down there and one core can stop them. Or stop them, though. I can take over the actual province. And that's one thing that's funny is that also, um, unlike in Hoi 4, where resources are just sort of teleported around, um, re there's resource talk piles in this game. Basically, resources need to be moved around for them to be actually used. For example, uh, to the, um, to the places where there's some industry. Now, Truth be told, I have no goddamn clue why there's metal, oil, and rare materials over here. Well, oil I can get because there were troops. Like, for the troops in Castellón de la Plana to be supplied, supplies and, tr and, and oil need to be sent over there uh, in a stockpile. As you can see right now, in the island over here, we have some supplies and some oil. Um, which is a local source of supply that the units can use um and when you actually capture these stockpiles when you when you take over the you know when you take over the province where the, the resources are that um that gives you those resources right now they're not going to go over to us because obviously we're germany but it, it's going to go over to national of spain um and interestingly you don't see this you don't see them, for example, in Ciudad Real, which is the enemy capital. You don't see it in Huelva or Córdoba or, or any of these places that are connected by land to the capital. Because in this area, it's kind of just assumed that there's automatic, you know, land supply. Uh, while the stockpiles come into play with islands and cut off territories. And um, sometimes these stockpiles, again, are actually like the resources that are being mined in that place that are that just that for some reason the um, they cannot ship them out for example as you can see here there's a rare materials mine and there's 50 rare materials and if we look over here that number of rare materials is going up every day because these are the rare materials being mined in Lerida in Lerida province and uh, they you know they can't be shipped out currently because I don't know. For some reason, Barcelona doesn't have a port, so uh, or it's got a it's called a minor port. Uh, you can see the symbol. There's two symbols. One is a big one. One is a small one. The big one actually has port level or naval base levels. Here, there is a port. Technically, convoys can go there. I guess they just don't have convoys, but they can't base any ships out of there. So yeah. As you can see, like, the, the mechanics of this game are, like, on the surface very simple, but actually really complex, which is one of the reasons why I really enjoy it. And there we go. We've taken care of the Northwest. We can, I believe, set the speed over to extremely fast now, which is going to make the game run incredibly fast, but that's fine. We're still taking it sort of slowly, 
um, but steadily, you know. Damn. He's really going in with that close air support. Prevent him. There we go. Nice. And now I can make an offensive towards Ciudad Real. This is going to be very, very easy. And you'll see why shortly. Because what I can do is... Since Ciudad Real is uh, bordering a lot of our provinces, I can do a supporting attack with a lot of divisions. And that's going to also be a flanking bonus and easily lead to the destruction of that division. Or, you know, it retreating away. And I'm gonna, you know, bomb them. I'm gonna do a bit of a road of death um, scenario. Bombing them while they're retreating. Also, I can attack Albacete, and since that place was pretty weak, that goes down fairly easily. And let's see if I can... Hmm, this is going to be annoying to deal with, because this is mountains. Although, I can just siege these guys out, because they likely have no supply. Like, let's actually check this out. In the morning... Are these guys getting supplied? Yeah, no, they're... They're out of supply. So honestly, if I just let them sit there, they're going to starve. Alright. And now I'm thinking that basically... It is all ogre. Uh, I can actually go down to Sevilla, which is like the last place where they have an airbase, so that would be good. But as you can see, I am able to push basically on the entire front. Their new capital is Granada. Um, and uh, the way that you actually win wars in this game, or in this, uh, you know, yeah, in, in, in Darkest Tower, is that you need to take um, all the victory points of the enemy. You can technically also, like, do, like, non- total, like, non-annexation peace, peace deals. Like, you can just, like, troll, I don't know, a country and then be like, oh, I just want, like, half of it, you know? Um, there we go. Ooh, that's actually not going to work. Continue moving down to the west. Uh, so, something like the Spanish Civil War, you need to take all the enemy victory points. Uh, now, in the Spanish Civil War, I don't remember. Yeah, there we go. Victory points map mode. In the Spanish Civil War, looks like there's a bug, and Almeria doesn't get a VP. But you know, the entirety of the Spanish Peninsula is VPs, or the the Iberian Peninsula is VPs. So, well, at least the Spanish part. For example, if I were to want to, like, kill Portugal, I could technically just, like, naval land in Lisbon and then be like, Derp, you're annexed. Although, to be fair, maybe he's got, like, victory points in his colonies. No, it doesn't look like it. I could technically just naval land in Lisbon and be like, get trolled, and, ju and then just annex him. You know what I mean? Maybe the Azores are a VP. No. Okay. Well... Can you see, like, the total? Yeah, I believe if you go to the ledger somewhere... Wait, what? Uh, victory points, maybe? You're supposed to... Oh, there we... It's like this victory progress. Okay, controlled. Um, Portugal... And if, if uh, countries don't have victory points, then... Uh, 
Oh, he's actually got two VPs. Where the hell is the second one? Maybe Macau or something? I don't know. If they don't have any VPs, then you're supposed to take over their capital, and then you can annex them and do whatever. And troll. I don't know. All right. Oh, well, there we go. Bunch of IC just finished. That's great. Oh, the following decisions are now available. The Anschluss of Austria complete. Well, okay. You're not ready for this decision. Huh. Event to coup in Austria, Chancellor Seiss Inkart requests German intervention has occurred, or Vienna is owned by Germany, or Vienna is controlled by Germany, and Germany is at war with Austria, or Germany is allied with Austria, relations to Austria is 200 or more, aka maximum, and the Italy has joined the Pact of Steel has occurred. Really now, you can do, a lo you can do Anschluss if Austria joins the Axis. That's interesting. Um... Uh, yeah, this is because it's 1937, you know, yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of shit happening with, uh, with Austria, and we've been derping around in, in Spain. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you derp around in Spain when you must reunite the fatherland or something? I don't know. Nazi noises. When's the next IC going to be finished? December 1937. Eh, yeah, I think that's... At that moment, we're going to need to start building actual units. Before then, though, there's really no need. At least as far as I know. And now we're going to be preparing for a sort of final assault on Granada. There we go. Uh, now they're bunched up in a nice little pocket. I'm actually not going to attack Granada first. I'm going to attack Sevilla because it's a plains province and we've got some tanks. So that should be a fairly easy. Oh, actually, I'm going to wait for, for the day. And interestingly enough, notice how now daytime starts at 8 a.m. Instead of earlier it was at 6. That's because there's the winter. There's like time zones modeled. You can see it down here, you know, the globe. This isn't just... Yeah, it's pretty based. Oh, um... Japan is being funny in, in East Asia, obviously. Let's check out how this goes. Yeah, there we go. We've got like three to one divisions, plus we've got armor, you know. They're probably not even able to um, penetrate, like, even the light tanks, so, yeah. And there we go. That is the end of the Spanish Civil War. All their divisions are backed up into a corner, and now they're going to be dead. -de 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 -de. Yeah, as you can see, we're getting spanned by shit, and this should be this should be the end. There we go. Uh, in fact, there should also be the uh, Spanish Civil War. There we go. Germany no longer controls the Spanish army because. 
Spanish Civil War is over. Also, there should be the Spanish Civil War victory. There we go. And uh, that gives you, because we participated in the fighting, that gives us the Condor Legion the Victorious event, which is going to give us some blueprints, which is basically how like research bonuses work in this game. We get back our manpower. Uh, we reduce our descent. And uh, yeah. So the blueprints that we got were in some doctrines, fittingly enough. Uh, I believe I saw... Oh, that's like way farther down in, in close air support doctrines. Well, that's gonna be... It's gonna be for quite a bit later. We're gonna tell you that much. Um, do I end the recording right now? Yeah, I think I do. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be dealing with some administrative stuff in Germany, just, you know, sort of cobbling around my troops, you know, organizing things. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be doing things that aren't particularly interesting. So, yeah. As for now, I'm not sure how many parts all this recording session will be split into, but, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching anyway. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you soon. Have a good day and all the nice things.